31 in my previous video, we saw how to solve this question using object dot group by. For those who don't know, what we want to do is we are given this array which contains objects and we want to group all these elements based on the gender property. As you can see, the output is right in front of our screens. All the males are together and all the females are together. This solution is 100% correct. However, the interviewer might ask you to rewrite this solution using reduce as group by came out only in ES 2023 and could have browser support issues. So let's understand how to solve this question using reduce. Okay. So the very first thing is we'll get rid of group by. Let's take a quick look at our console. We should get an error. Okay, now we'll take this particular array name and then we'll do reduce. Reduce, as we all know, takes two values. Okay. One is a callback function that consists of accumulator and the current value. Over here, I'm calling the current value as care. Okay, let me just add this. Okay. And of course, we also need the initial value of the accumulator, which in our case is an object. Now, think about the solution. What we really had was a male array that consists of consisted of all the male objects and a female array that consisted of all the female objects. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll get the male and female, which we'll get using care dot gender, and that will be our array value. Apologies. Okay. And so first we'll create that particular male array and female array, which we have done this, done using this. And now what we'll do is we'll push values inside of it, right? So we'll take care dot gender. And then inside of this, we'll push. What will we push? We'll push the current element, which is care. Okay. And then finally we'll return what we'll return the accumulator. Now this won't work and let me explain why. Okay. So as you can see, we are just getting one value in male, which is the last value. Okay. So we don't have to create this new array always. We have to only create it if it does not exist in the first place. Okay. So we'll add the if condition for this and we want to create it once again, if this does not exist. Okay. So I've added this if condition and if it does not exist, right? So we'll add this exclamation mark over here and let me take this from here and paste it over here. And this should give us our expected solution. 